Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to show you how to run a supervised um, classification with machine learning algorithm which is uh, called CART. So it's a decision uh, trees uh, classification algorithms, algorithm which is very popular and uh, also um, uh, very highly recommended for land use land cover uh, mapping um, uh, tasks and also it show it has a, a number of advantages and I encourage you to have a look on our uh, theoretical lecture where I'm going where I talked about different algorithms in more details. So we are working with the same study area which is Dubai and basically um, we have already created with you training and validation data. So uh, the, the code, the piece of code that I'm providing here is absolutely the same as we used in a previous lecture. So when uh, we were using random forest classification. So uh, again, we start uh, with uh, importing um, of uh, our uh, training and validation data that we have created. And then uh, we declare um, um, uh, variable Dubai, which was previously we just point, uh, draw a line or draw a polygon on, 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 the, on the map. Then there is a nice uh, function here, center map on Dubai. If uh, you don't write this, basically, uh, then you would have to find your object by yourself. So your study area, you would have to search for it. So, but uh, when you just write this function here, uh, map center object on Dubai, and if it's in your case could be, I don't know, Las Vegas or Berlin or maybe Calcutta, then it will be variable uh, of your study area. Yeah. Then again, we import the satellite data. We use we we, we work absolutely with the same data that we. Um, we are working in the previous example and the same we filter for Dubai. So we first um, filter our image collection. We reduce our image collection with the filter function for to Dubai and uh, we also filter it by date. Well, by the way, some of you who uh, already feel more comfortable uh, with JavaScript, you can also write this in one uh, in one uh, function. So uh, in a similar way that I was showing in uh, our JavaScript introductory uh, video. So this could be uh, uh, written in several ways. One of these would be three different lines of code and another more elegant way would be to uh, have a nested function. Well, uh, now then we uh, print an image just to see uh, how the first image in our collection uh, look like and we map it on our map here. We add it to our map. Then we uh, select the bands which we are going to use as prediction for our machine learning algorithm card and we declare a training uh, variable. Uh, which basically uh, consists of our classes, vegetation, urban, sand, and rocks. And here uh, we uh, sample the region. We, we uh, use, um, we declare classifi uh, classifier training variable and train the classifier. So um, when, for example, you are not sure about the function that you would want to use, there are two ways to work with the uh, documentation in um, Google or Ascension. One way, way would be to click on a uh, control space and then you would uh, receive the uh, help for this function. So what you see here uh, that we uh, have a, a function classifier smile card and the uh, arguments that are, uh, could be added to this function are maximum nodes and uh, maximum leaf population. There is also default maximum nodes number of leaf nodes in each tree if unspecified defaults to no limit. Yeah. So basically, if unspecified defaults are uh, to no limit and minimum leaf population only create nodes whose training set constraints at least uh, uh, this may points and default is one. Yeah. So basically, if you want to use um, uh, a default values, you should just uh, keep the brackets empty like I did 
but of course you can see that nodes is uh, um, number is only one is basically minimum number is maybe uh, um, you want to uh, for further to uh, put more uh, arguments into your function and to adjust those again there is no uh, um, uh, rule of thumb okay for this for random four is ra for example the recommended number of trees for random forest is uh, 300 or 500 and there is also a uh, rule how to calculate nodes so you basically uh, but for other um, other parameters of algorithms uh, there are no rule of thumb so um, the best way if you are using it for scientific purposes or for your work and want to achieve best result is to uh, play with those different factors yeah to um, to run it as a default and then to adjust the factors and see whether your accuracies are increasing well then we are classifying uh, getting a classified uh, image we are assigning a, pal a palette and then uh, classify adding the image to the map and uh, finally we validate our uh, date our image with the sa our classification uh, based on card uh, with the same um, validation data that we have created in the previous uh, work and uh, we test for the accuracy of the map which is a very important step okay um, I have just shown you one way of uh, finding a play uh, 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 help for the function another would be to go here uh, on the menu uh, docs and here you have algorithms and you you can also write well, for example, you want to use classifier and you now immediately see all the options. So you can use art card that we are using now. You can use decision trees, decision trees ensemble, uh, support vector machines, minimum distance, naive base, random forest um, and uh, uh, sp spectral region mapping, etc. And etc. So this is really uh, very helpful. Let's let's for example uh, click on um, on support vector machines and uh, basically uh, um, it says what the um, function does and uh, arguments that could be added to your function there are always uh, um, uh, the name of the argument as well as uh, the explanation what is the default the default values yeah Okay, so basically uh, this is uh, for those of you who are serious in uh, using Google Earth Engine, this would be maybe uh, one of your favorite, <laughs> or one of the um, uh, help functions that you use very often. Let's uh, now back to our uh, card classification, run our um, uh, script, basically, and here is the result. So, um, while it is still loading, uh, just uh, for you to uh, to appreciate the power of Google Earth Engine and with the power of uh, using um, uh, cloud computing, uh, basically everything which you have to do once you have a script is just to 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 change this part. You have to uh, change a classifier algorithm and then basically arguments of the algorithm algorithm could be adjusted. But at the end of the day, uh, you can just reuse this. Um, um, algorithm for any area in the world and uh, well also if you want another dates you can adjust this but it's very easy right it's uh, doesn't require you uh, clicking through a million of windows and downloading data separately um, so basically it becomes much more faster and efficient let's see uh, what is the results of our validation so uh, and the result the, the resulting map so here you go this is our map of uh, uh, dubai area yes then we have prevailing uh, two colors i think it's uh, maybe sand and urban and we can also have a look uh, what is um, basically a validation result so um, as a default you would get validation error matrix from which you can actually input it in to excel or any other program and compute but you, if with the functions that we use in here we can also uh, compute overall accuracy and as well as the uh, um, 
consumer uh, or user accuracy, kappa coefficient, and producer accuracy. So overall accuracy is 63%, uh, uh, which is far below the requirement, at least of 75. And here is we have a, a consumer also user accuracy, and by each of the of the um, class we can see that okay, class uh, one is doing okay, 90%, 71 is more or less okay, 59 is class 3 and class 4 are really doing not really great. Kappa coefficient of 52% is actually uh, also quite low, at least should be 70, 75 or better 80, but yeah, 52 is a bit lower uh, percent. And our uh, consumer um, producer accuracies are also quite low, 66 percent, 67, sorry, 20. Class 3 is not bad and class 4. So basically interesting that uh, our uh, producer accuracies are opposite to our consumer accuracy. So the, the classes 3, 4 did worse in the uh, in terms of the user accuracies while well, producer accuracies are fine okay but that's um, already say as something about our training data as i have extensively uh, described and talked with you in our previous uh, video and basically the way to improve it is two ways actually the first way would be to um, work uh, nicely on uh, training and validation data so this should be redone and training and validation data should be also cleaned so that we didn't do this but this is you can always do uh, when you are serious about your land use land cow classification you should really search uh, very carefully for your training and uh, testing data as well as uh, you have to clean it so you look at the uh, temporal profiles and uh, delete all this um, um, data that you don't uh, that do not belong to your class so you should really uh, look at the quality of your training and validation data and number two how to in try to improve this is to play with these parameters so I'm um, here I'm using defaults and you should uh, test then uh, different uh, parameters combination which eventually could also lead to the better results.